This is a prototype for an impact framework pipeline builder. As you know, within the impact framework, you need to specify a pipeline of the things you want to measure within your manifest file. If we take a look at one of these manifest files, this is what we see. And already, if you're not fairly technically savvy, this might be a little bit confusing. These are different plugins. And some of them have a global config where we specify our input parameters and output parameters. But it's not immediately clear sometimes in what units those parameters are expected. For example, carbon intensity is a measure of how clean our electricity is. It refers to how many grams of carbon dioxide are released to produce a kilowatt hour of electricity. It's measured in grams of CO2 equivalent emissions per kilowatt hour. And we can collect that information from the watt time plugin. But if you were just looking at this global config for the operational carbon module, none of that might be readily apparent by the average IT server admin type person if they're not also familiar with the clean energy space. So going back to this prototype, the idea is that this pipeline builder could provide a graphical user interface that's helps to clarify per plugin what some of the inputs and outputs are required and where to collect that information based on your particular infrastructure. So let's say we're browsing the available plugins here via this dropdown. We select the cloud metadata plugin and we choose to configure it. The tool recognizes the needed configuration variables. And so if I look at my options, I know that my infrastructure is hosted on AWS, Amazon Web Services, and I might know that my instance is M5 large. If I didn't know that, I could click to help find my inputs. I could type in my website's name here, and by clicking find inputs, it knows that that website is hosted on M5 large. Different plugins obviously would have different configuration variables and different methods of helping users to collect the needed data to construct their pipeline. At any rate, once we have that configuration for our chosen plugin, we click submit. And now it's going to give us a sample of what the output from this plugin might look like so that we can actually understand it a little bit better and determine the next steps in our pipeline to continue measurement. So for this particular plugin, it's going to output a CPU TDP of 270. The units are watts. What is CPU TDP? It is the heat dissipation of our CPU and GPU and other components. And as I'm looking at this, I realize TDP might also not be super obvious. So a definition for that might be useful within this interface, which TDP stands for thermal design power, which is the maximum amount of heat the CPU or GPU can generate under a specific workload. So all of this is important because we need to be able to understand this, to care about it, and to utilize these tools properly. If we can't measure, we can't improve, but if we don't understand, we can't measure. Continuing on through the outputs, it's going to give us the memory that was used, 432 gigabytes, the processor that our hardware was running on, an Intel Xeon, and the number of virtual CPUs used versus available. If I wanted to add another plugin to the pipeline, I could do so, and that would start this whole process back over. Or if I have everything I need, I can generate a manifest file, and you can see it has downloaded a YAML file here. And obviously, there would need to be some other form fields and things like that to really construct this whole thing. Perhaps it would only construct the sort of config pieces of the manifest file but however it's implemented, we think this could be a really helpful component to the impact framework to help people construct their manifest files.